Niels Bohr developed the first usable model for the atom that was able to actually account for all of the data described by the Balmer formula for spectroscopic uh, emission of, of, uh, of light from atoms. And Bohr's model, although it's not the current uh, best model for the quantum mechanical description of the atom, is still sufficiently good for developing an intuitive understanding that we still use it today. Bohr's model was published in 1913, and in some sense, it represents the atom as a small planetary system. In this model, Bohr used the, the recent discovery of Rutherford, that there was a dense core of a nucleus at the center of an atom, to develop a picture whereby electrons are orbiting around the, the positive core held in place by the Coulomb field. This is a lot like our model of the Sun and orbiting planets, but instead of the gravitational force, we have the Coulomb force. And one, of, one important thing in this model that Bohr had to overcome is that this charge, moving as it is in a circle, is accelerating. And he knew that in classical physics, all charges which are accelerating radiate energy in the form of electromagnetic radiation. So if an electron is in fact radiating energy away, it should spiral in to the center of the nucleus and collide with the nucleus itself. That would make the atom unstable, and we know that atoms are stable because we are still here. So in order to, to cope with that experimental fact, Bohr had to introduce two postulates, and these postulates were sufficient for him to derive something that agreed with the Balmer series. So let me say a little bit about what those two postulates are. The first is that the atom possesses a number of what he called stationary states. In these stationary states, the electron is allowed to orbit, but it does not radiate energy. So that's kind of hard to you know understand as a as being motivated by anything other than Bohr needed that as a postulate in order to explain why atoms are stable. And just like Einstein required postulates of relativity in order to to make progress on a general on a theory of relativity, Bohr needed postulates as well. The second postulate in Bohr's model. was that transitions of the atom from one stationary state to another the atom will emit radiation or absorb radiation in the form of a photon.
and we'll come to talk about that in a moment, but such photons would have an energy given by the difference in energy of the atom from the, its initial state to its final state. 